This is lesson 15-3, and the focus is how do you classify quadrilaterals? You know how to classify triangles. Today you're going to learn how to classify quadrilaterals. I want you to pause a moment, and I want you to think of examples of quadrilaterals that you see in your everyday life. Some possible examples might be street signs, uh, the top of your desk, a building, or maybe even furniture. Remember that a quadrilateral is any four-sided figure, um, four-sided polygon. It doesn't necessarily have to be a square or rectangle. Squares and rectangles are examples of quadrilaterals, but any four-sided polygon. In your math notebook, I want you to draw as many different quadrilaterals as you can by changing the side lengths and the relationships as well as the angles. So go ahead and pause now, draw as many different quadrilaterals as you can. Here are five possibilities you may have come up with. In blue I have a rectangle, in green a square, in orange a rhombus, in purple a parallelogram, and in red a trapezoid. If you're missing any of these from your list, please add them now. Now please copy the following chart into your math notebook. Please pause now to copy it. As I describe each quadrilateral, put a check mark in each column that describes a property of that quadrilateral. Now I want you to think about each quadrilateral in the list and look at each property. For each property that matches that quadrilateral, please put a check mark in the box. Let's review what each quadrilateral is, and let's see which boxes should be checked. First, a parallelogram has both pairs of opposite sides parallel and equal in length. So the opposite sides will be equal in length. So in this case, only the second column, both pairs of sides parallel, should be checked. A trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. So we should check the first box for only one pair of sides parallel for a trapezoid. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So on this one, we're going to check the second and third boxes. Both pairs of sides are parallel and four right angles for a rectangle. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides. In this case, we're going to check the second column for both pairs of sides parallel and the fourth column for four equal sides for a rhombus. Finally, a square is a rectangle with four equal sides. We're going to check the second column for both pairs of sides parallel. The third column has four right angles. And the fourth column, it also has four equal sides for a square. Please check to see how you did with this and correct any of the check marks you need to. The last thing I'd like you to do is to classify these quadrilaterals shown on the screen according to the names we used previously. So please pause now and write down the five names for each of these quadrilaterals. Now let's check your answers. Number one, of course, is a rectangle because both pairs of sides are parallel and it also has four right angles. Number two is a rhombus because, again, both pairs of sides are parallel and it also has four equal sides. Number three must be a square because the both pairs of sides are parallel, has four right angles, as well as four equal sides. Number four is going to be a trapezoid because it only has one pair of sides parallel. And number five is a parallelogram since both sides, pairs of sides, are parallel. Please check and correct your answers if necessary. So let's recap. Remember our focus is how do you classify quadrilaterals? First, we call quadrilaterals um, uh, are four-sided polygons because the prefix quad means four. 
and the properties of each quadrilateral determine its name, whether it be a square, rectangle, rhombus, trapezoid, or parallelogram, depends upon the sides, whether they're parallel or not, whether there's right angles or equal sides. Please check to be sure you took good notes and be prepared to discuss them in class tomorrow.